family. Welcome. Welcome to Sweet Annie's Life. If you are new to this channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. My name is Annie and this channel deals with faith, hair, skin, testimonies, in the kitchen with Annie, tea talk with Annie. It could be a melting pot of stuff. So thanks again for stopping on this channel. Lessons to all of you. Well, today I just wanted to share a recipe with you. Well, one of them, because I switch it up all the time. But, um, I just wanted to share this basic recipe with you that I have been making for a few years now, quite a few years. Um, I just, as I said, switch it up and do different things. But before I do that, I just wanted to share one little story with you. You know, I always have a story. When I was living in Barbados, this was over 10 years ago, um, I, they had this young lady that used to come at the bar. Subsequent to that, she started working for me at the bar, actually, because she was such, she is, I should say, such a beautiful person, beautiful soul. She had the perfect DJ voice. So sometimes she would DJ for me when my daughter wasn't DJing. And, but she suffered with eczema really, really bad. She suffered with it so bad that her whole skin was like a snake. I might have shared this testimony before, but for those of you that never heard it, I, um, sharing it again so that you will understand. So her whole skin, when you touch it, it was rough and it just felt like a snake skin or something like that, you know, a lizard or something. But so that is what gave me the inspiration to start making my own skin stuff actually because I too suffer with my skin, I too suffer with eczema and I suffer with eczema. I don't really want to say that though because let's put it this way that I realized when I was a young child that I started suffering with eczema but devil is a liar so we are going to speak into being that it is all just temporary so anyway back to my story because that's what i tend to do i tend to just swear it and it came to me because i was so into the natural stuff and the herbs and the everything it came to me, why don't I make a uh, body butter for her skin? But the thing about it, my first body butters that I made was not with butters. It was just, you know, the shea butter and the, with the other oils and stuff like that. And then pour it in a container and let it get hardened and that was the and i put cocoa butter in it things like that and that was what i made for her skin and she loved it so much she loved it and after like a, only a few weeks i would say her skin started to be so much better and that is what gave me the inspiration to start making my own things because for years I just used to use the Palmer's cocoa butter and I tried to limit the things that I put on my skin and for a long time 
I did like my grandmother did. I just would put pawns, vanishing cream. I don't think they have that now, but I used to put pawns, vanishing cream on my face to take away the shine, stuff like that. I never would like put too much on my skin. So enough chit chat. That is just my short testimony. And I'm sorry that I'm not there still that I can be giving her some of this stuff. But today we are going to be making um, one of my blends for my body butter. And that's what I use on my skin. In recent times, I started using my goat milk cream as well. Like in summers, I would use my goat milk. In winters, my skin need a little bit more, so I would use my body butters. So, we are going to start with our ingredients. This is my shea butter, and it is one cup of the shea butter then I have one cup of my mango butter as well then I have um, a half cup of cocoa butter and I have some coconut oil because I know that a lot of people don't like coconut oil but coconut oil is something that penetrates into the skin but if you are allergic to coconut oil obviously you can leave this one out then i have an oil blend here this is a skin oil blend that consists of neem neem is good for fungus is because it's antibacterial well most of the things here are antibacterial antifungal and anti-itch and stuff like that. Um, neem is good for the itching of your skin. It has the calendula. Calendula is is good for the healing of the skin. Um, then it has some nettle in it, which is also very good for the skin. It has some aloe vera oil, some carrot seed oil, and I put a little bit of my turmeric oil as well because with the turmeric you can't you can't put too much otherwise it will be too yellow then it might stain your clothes because we all know that turmeric stains so I just put a little bit of the turmeric oil and the turmeric is good for marks and blemishes hyperpigmentation, all those things. Then I just have some essential oils here. I have some sweet orange and some frankincense. And I have my vitamin. All right, my double boiler is all um, set up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put in my um, cocoa butter. I'm going to put my cocoa butter in first. Actually, that is not warm enough. You look, you will see my oils and my butters in there. I'm just going to let them melt and I'll be right back. Okay, my oil and my butters, they are all melted. As you can see, so now I am going to transfer it into this bowl. I'm going to transfer it into this bowl because this is my mixing bowl. It's going to have a little steam to the bottom. So I am just going to wipe this off to get the steam because we don't want any water in this at all. So I just put it this. As I said, we don't want any water in it. 
All right, so we are now going to place this in the fridge for about 20 minutes or so and let it just get solid. Okay, family, our look at it, look at it. All right, you see it? It's all frozen up. So we are going to start the mix it now. I have my mixer right here. And what I like to do, what I like to do family, is put a little bit more heat to the bottom because sometimes with these metal things it's hard to, to get it off the sides so family it's all solid i was just trying to get it from the sides of the bowl so we'll start to mix it now i'm going to put my Vitamin E oil in just a teaspoonful or so, and what the vitamin E does is just stop it from going rancid at any rate. All right, I will put in my. Sweet orange, uh, probably 20 drops of that. Then put it in my pomegranate, also 20 drops. I already put in my vitamin E. Something I forgot to mention, I also put some tapioca starch and what that does is that stops the body butter from being so greasy. So this is one tablespoon. I put it probably one and a half tablespoons. Look at our light and fluffy body butter. I really didn't need any, but I wanted to share this recipe with you because I have some friends that probably would need to get some. So. I will bottle these out shortly but before I do that I am just going to I'm just going to pop it in the fridge for one last time and then I will mix it again and it will be all done okay family our light and fluffy body butter is all done this is my alcohol bottle. I already sterilized these containers, but I just wanted to show you how I sterilize them. I just spray them with some alcohol. And then if I am using right away, I would get a paper towel and just wipe out the excess alcohol. And I don't pipe my my body butters in because I just feel that that wastes too much and I don't like to waste my stuff so I just scoop it in with a spatula so this is how I put them in the containers 
and it is nice and fluffy just the way how I like it and as you can see it has a slight yellow color and that's because of the turmeric it's gonna harden as it cools down so I'll just do the rest and be so right I hope that you enjoyed this video our body butter is all done and this is it so these will be labeled and go in the fridge until because I have a, a special fridge for my products so these will go into the fridge and then if anybody needs or if I need to use one they will be all ready and once again I hope that you enjoyed this video please give me a like a share and subscribe and that would be awesome so have a good week good rest of the week and once again this is Annie and I will be bringing another video to you shortly because I have some exciting things that I want to share with you in 2023 so stay tuned and once again spread the love